hello once again uh, to the series 2 part of how to conduct interviews i'm sure uh, you have entered into this session after you have seen the first part of the session where we talked about that what is the pre preparation that uh, one has to do uh, and now that you have prepared everything and you have a candidate uh, who is waiting to be interviewed now so we enter into the series 2 now this is a very very important stage because uh, a lot of time i have seen that people are not well prepared that from where am i going to start uh, what questions am i going to ask and how do i structure my interview in a way that it gives me the best out of that person as i said the goal of the interviewer is to take the best out of the candidate so that you would know the person in and out so that when you make a, a decision of hiring or rejecting it has to have a lot of substance it has to have a lot of content in your mind uh, in terms of the information that you get so the bigger question is that how do i structure my interview so that it it gives me a complete picture of the person uh, to make a decision so let's get into the step straight away okay so as we as as uh, as we see that this is one of the very big concern in the mind of a uh, lot of people that how do i structure my interview so that i get the best out of people and if you are able to structure it well uh, you would be able to uh, you know ask those relevant questions which are needed at that time one another mistake that i have seen that people do is that they just remember okay i have to ask one more question and then they will ask that in the end which will have no sense so let's straight away get into this point that how will you structure the interview in my in my experience what i have narrated is that there are total eight things or eight ways that you can structure the interview when the moment the person comes and sit with you and you have to begin the interview process start with this first p that is performance so in a very simple way you can ask about give me some recent example of his performance track record because that is the first indicator that will have you an idea about that how this person has been doing well whether he is from sales whether he is from non sales or any other function that he is into because the performance in a given role is the first indicator about that how that person is coming up the second part is the process now if suppose somebody says that he has done exceedingly well in his current role in the recent past and if he shares some examples then the second part that you need to go into the process how did he do that what made him to bring that performance to that level which he is highlighting that it is so significant so understanding that whether that person has that knowledge that how did he bring that performance is a second key part of an interview preparation uh, interview process the third part is people now how did he drive his performance <clears throat> when it comes to the process part was there other people involved how did he take the help of his probably boss peers other colleagues other functions and in people part this is the most tricky part what you need to understand and you have to frame your questions with respect to what were the behavioral issues what were the conflicts that he had while he had to reach his performance level now this is this part will give you a lot of insight the process and the people part will give you a lot of insights that how does he think and how did he turn around a, a problem into a opportunity and how did he deal with people because when you hire people one of the very important thing that you need to look at is that how is their people management skill or dealing with people because in today's world you are not just dependent you can't work in silos you have to be interdependent with lot of other departments and a lot of other people around so this is the most important part to find out during the interview process then praise now this p is simply stands for praise in terms of if he has done so well has he been recognized has he been uh, rewarded has he been incentivized something that has been really clearing a, a point that he has been rewarded or recognized for his high and significant performance so this part will give you a lot of content about the broad structure a sketch of a person whether he is fitting into your criterias or not the second part the second part will give you the the in depth knowledge that what kind of knowledge that this person is having and the first part of this is 
customer knowledge. Now, if he's a salesperson or he's a marketing professional, you need to know that does he have the customer knowledge in the in the in the area that he operates? Does he knows customer by name? Does he knows which are his top customers? Does he know which are his bottom customers? This clarity is very very important. Second is market knowledge. Now, how the market is behaving? What kind of products are running? What kind of products are not running? Is it a very um, uh, market which is dependent on price or is it more dependent on quality or more dependent on value does he have that kind of a knack in terms of in terms of responding to your questions on market knowledge then comes the product knowledge now if the person is into the sales role or marketing role he or she would be selling some product or service what kind of knowledge does he have is it just on the surface or does he know the depth of the product knowledge when it comes to applying new things and finding out that how he has been able to create an impact through his product knowledge and probably at this point of time you need to check knowledge from his current perspective not on your products or services because right now you are evaluating him on his current strength of knowledge from his current organization or the place that he's in then comes the competitor knowledge now is he clear is he closely watching the competitors is he aware about who are his first two or three competitors are and what kind of activities do they do on their day to day basis you need to dig out that information by asking and framing the right questions now look at this entire process while you are understanding the p4 piece on the left hand side and on the right hand side when you know about these four important uh, part you can very well judge the overall performance of the candidate and that will start giving you some signals whether he is a right candidate or he is not a right candidate because this is the most essential part of the interview process if you can do well you will get to the right direction of selecting a very probable right candidate so i'm sure uh, this basic understanding would have given you some idea about how to structure your interview and in the next series i'm going to talk about the third stage that is the post interview stage that what all you need to do if you finalize a particular candidate in your scheme of things after this interview process thanks for watching